this flat arch I'm going to be doing at 45 degrees. So best way to work it out is the bricks 63. Let me measure that 63 that way and cut there. Right, on to the next part. First of all, you're going to place the brick where it needs to go. The way I'm working this out is these bricks are 210. I'm measuring at 100 mil in 10 mil gaps or 110, 210. The same this way, just. Now I'm on the final course of the seat bricks. So same thing again, just get it all in the right place, mark it up, and then you're ready to go. So that's the finished product. The pillar wasn't in when I first done that, so I've just built that. These timbers here I've used as profiles to get the mortar lines in the right place. Also to hold the door frame in there. Uh, now I'm up to the right level. I'm ready to do exactly the same as I did there, just the other way round. And there's the first brick ready to cut. It works the same on a pillar or a straight wall, same technique. First course is in, it's doing exactly the same again with the second course, putting the brick in the right place, pencils under it for the mortar joint, and then using the rule to transfer the angle up there. The triangle is a bit smaller up there on that one, because it's the pillar, so it offsets it a tiny bit, so it's not going to be exactly symmetrical, but it doesn't matter. Um, the off cut of this brick I'm going to use to infill that. So. I'm going to put more forward to mark it than I want because when it raises up it'll get smaller and then to mark that one I just held it in line with the brick there and marked it. This one I'm going to do by measurement because the pillar, the header goes in and it doesn't get affected by the angle. To try and put a brick in there and use the rule would mean having to cut a brick in half first and balance it. It seems like a pointless operation, so I might as well just measure it. So the, the tape's probably about half inch. So I call that one about 55 millimeters. This one here is about 72, so minus 10 mil. So we look at 62 by 55 mil. Now we're ready to make the flat arch. The first thing to do is to make a template. I've done this by putting a board a level with the top of the door frame and scribing in both seat cuts. After cutting, I put it back up and marked each point of the mortar bed joints, the centre line, and scribed in 10 mil joint there, the top, the bottom, the top, and then joined them together with a rule so for a nice straight line. Once I've drawn this template, I then transferred it onto another board. So when I do all my cuts, I can position them all on the board numbered. Before we can calculate it, we need to design the keystone. The widest you can go is as wide as a brick. So I've done that, centered the brick, done that at the top. I've gone quite sharp, so I've gone down to an inch at the bottom as I've got 45 degree seat cuts. Um, and I've gone a bit higher with my keystone gives it a bit more effect and I've just shaded in the mortar joints there which is 10 mil. Once you've done that then the rest can be divided out to calculate it. Okay so I've done the calculation 
it works out to be eight bricks. I had some bricks laying about, so I just sat them on there, spaced them evenly apart. And then there's seven joints in there, so off the bottom, a minus 70 mil. I measured it as about 370. I've got 300 left divided by eight. And then I measured that and a 10 mil joint, marked it out like that. Then joined them all up together to get this and just coloured every other mortar joint. So it's stepped like that. On the last course, you need to drop the mortar joint down a bit or you'll not be able to get the last section out of one brick. Here I've done it about 85 and 95, and that's the mortar joint. So after a lot of preparation, finally ready to start cutting some bricks. I'm using the back edge of the brick, lining it up there on that line, the corner on that corner, and then I've marked the bottom of the brick, each side, squared it round, and the top there, it marked it, squared it round, I've got two cut lines. I'll cut that bit first, and then I'll cut it to the right thickness in a minute. Cut to length, I've marked the width, the top's just as wide as the brick, and then marked it all the way round, ready to cut, and that'll be one piece out of 36 pieces. I'm on the fourth course now. I've just been putting crosses in the bricks I've done because it can get a bit confusing. On this bit, I'm just placing the brick where it intersects with the mortar line and the top of the arch. So I've just cut the top brick on the fourth course. I made this board here purely to stick all the cuts on. That gives an idea of what it's gonna come out like. I'm halfway across one side, so it looks quite good. I'm quite happy with it so far. Okay, so that's the messy bit done. Still a bit more grinding to do, but it's just tidying up, doesn't make too much dust. It's just to square off all the joints, square off the bottom and sand it so it's smooth. That side's already done. I'm just moving on to this side. Uh, as you can see, it's quite rough. So what I'm doing is just squaring it off then using the angle grinder just to trim a little bit off and make sure it's square. With the bottom course, once it's square, just sand it off so it smooths it. So now it's time to start setting up to lay the bricks. First thing I'm doing is placing the template up there and marking all the mortar joints. Then I'm going to move the template to the other side of the door lining and fix it there and square all the lines across. The template is fixed, mortar joints are squared across. Now it's time to construct the arch.